Hey my little party animals! Hip Hip Renee here today with a brand new speed build for you and today we are doing a build that has nothing to do with murder which is really fun. I'm sure that you know there's gonna be some crazy people out there that download this and then murder a bunch of sims in it because that's kind of like my thing that's kind of what I'm known for so if you want to do that I mean I'm certainly not gonna stop you but I really was just trying to build a cute library here so that's what I was going for. I don't know I have been on vacation this week and by vacation I mean staycation because I'm not really like a beach or a traveling kind of person like me and my husband Rob both really just kind of like to be at home and just kind of you know have the ability to do whatever we want so we both took the week off of work and we have been at home just like playing video games all week that's all we've been doing so I finally got into the mood to build while I have been home all this week. It has been a really long time since I've just kind of like felt the need to build instead of just, you know, kind of going through brief history houses and building, you know, specifications of the house to whatever reference pictures I have. Like it's been a really long time since I've just kind of built something out of my brain that I just wanted to build. So that's what we're going for this week. I've done like three builds, like three full, actually four full builds, but three full builds for like whatever this series is turning into. I don't even want to call it a series because every time I do, every time I say I'm starting a new thing, I don't actually end up finishing it. So we're not really going to call this a series, but all of these houses or buildings or community lots that I have been working on this week all kind of go together. So for instance, you can actually see the build that you'll be seeing, I think next week, the pet, maybe next week, you can see that next door and it's a really cute like cemetery park kind of area. So I built that in Willow Creek down towards where all of the normal community lots are. And I really, really liked it. I just kind of wanted to do some landscaping the other day. So that's what inspired me to do like a, a cemetery and I guess a cemetery makes more sense for me to build than like a cutesy family park that's not really it's not really me that's not really my channel but building a cemetery seems really on brand for me so I did build that cemetery and you will see that next week and then I was thinking I was like what can I put next to the cemetery because I definitely want this like whole little space here to still be community lots and things that kind of make sense in Willow Creek but obviously not all what they were before so I was like well let's build a library I think we need a library in Willow Creek Willow Creek just feels like one of those places that would have a library Libraries aren't something that I use frequently in the game, like I don't really have my sims visit them all that often, unless I'm specifically playing like a Discover University kind of timeline, because I feel like sending them to the library is easier than having them like buy a research machine and having them buy a computer. They can just go to the library and get it all done there. So that's what I was going for here. And I also kind of wanted to go with like a little bit of a town hall kind of feel. I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately and I saw Chrissy, I believe it was. I will I will put a picture up if I can remember who built it, but I'm pretty sure it was Chrissy who built a little town hall. And I was like, oh my God, that's adorable. I love it. I want, I want to build my own. So this build actually started off as an entirely different build, which is why you don't actually see me do all that landscaping at the front of the lot. Because I built an entire town hall, including all of that landscaping, and then the more I looked at it, the more I looked at it, the more that I hated it. I hated it so much, but I really liked the landscaping and kind of the layout of like the exterior of the building. Not even the exterior of the building, but like just everything that was around the building. I liked all of the landscaping and the, the cobblestones and everything like that. So I wanted to keep that feel, but I didn't like the actual building itself. So I demolished the building and I kept all of the landscaping because it was already done and I really liked the way that it looked. So I built this essentially around the landscaping that I had already placed. And let me tell you that this build turned out 10 bajillion times better than the original build that I had on the slot. Not that the original build wasn't great, but let's be real, it wasn't great. It was okay at best, and I was just like not having it. 
And then I finished this one and I took a screenshot of it and I edited the screenshot to high heaven because I just, I sometimes builds look better when they're highly edited and I don't use reshades in my game or anything like that. So it's really hard to get kind of like that really nice, bright feeling in your screenshots if you don't use a reshader. And I just, I, my, my poor computer struggles enough as it is. I don't, I don't want to give it any more excuses to just like shut off randomly while I'm playing a game. So I took this screenshot and I posted it on Twitter and holy crap, everyone really liked it. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm really impressed with myself. I genuinely enjoy this build and I genuinely enjoy this build to the point where I did something that I don't normally do. You don't normally get this out of me. And the reason why you don't normally get this out of me is because most of the time I am building my brief history builds and I have like very specific like reference photos or even layouts to follow. So I kind of have to just go with whatever I can see in those photos, whether it is functional or not. So most of my brief history builds are completely non-functional because I'm 100% going for aesthetics over functionality. This one I did a little bit different. I did still use move objects because I'm sorry, I cannot... I can't not use move objects. I have to use it. I'm sorry, I have to use it. But everything in here is shockingly enough 100% functional. I did not put a ton of furniture in this build and I didn't put a ton of furniture in this build for good reason because I feel like especially at community lots, sometimes they get really packed and it's really hard for your Sims to move around. I did not want that to be an issue here. I wanted this to be something that if I, you know, am playing a game, I can actually bring my Sim here and use every single thing in this building. So this build is fully play tested, which is something that you never hear me say, but I'm saying it right now, this build is fully play tested and I'm pretty impressed with myself for play testing this. As far as I can tell, every single thing in here works. It doesn't seem like anything goes missing if you place this down without move objects, but I didn't take a super duper good look at it. So, I mean, if you are going to download this build because it is available in the gallery, just make sure you turn move objects on before just in case just in case, just to be on the safe side. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this build. I am super proud of it. I'm super excited to kind of continue building this week, at least for the rest of my vacation and see what else I can come up with. And I want to say a special thank you to my patrons, Alara Wilder, Holly Monroe, Zamboxius, Merc Maestro, and Sydney O'Rear. You guys are the real MVPs. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!